Now moving on to our next topic on mobile automation with APM, we are going to see how we can build an APM project. So as part of this setup, you need to have a ID which is known as the integrated development environment. There is no restriction on which ID you can use. I am going to use the IntelliJ IDEA, but you are free to choose any other ID. Then uh, we need to have a particular build management tool. Uh, I'm going to use Maven, but you can also use Gradle. Then we also need a test framework through which we can build the APM project. So we will use test ng as the test framework. Then uh, we need a client side programming language. And for that, we can choose any particular programming language. I'm going to use Java. So I'm going to set up the APM Java client. So these are the things which are required in order to set up a APM project. And then uh, you can start working on that APM project. So let's see how uh, we can go through this whole setup. So starting with our setup, uh, first is IntelliJ IDEA or any particular ID which you want to set up. Now I have already installed uh, IntelliJ IDEA on my system, but if you haven't, then you can just go to jetbrains.com and from there you can install and download the ID. So uh, let's go ahead and let's start our ID here. So I have got the IntelliJ IDEA. Now don't worry about the version of the ID which you are trying to run. It could be any particular version. Now the next requirement is to have uh, Maven or Gradle for that matter. So uh, I'm going to use Maven as my build management tool. So what we'll do is uh, we will go ahead and we will download the Maven for Windows. So that will be a zip file. So I'm going to download this. Now, uh, once it is downloaded, uh, we also need to configure Maven. Uh, we also require an uh, environment variable to be set for Maven. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to this particular directory. And here we have got our Maven, uh, which is a zip file currently. So what we'll do is uh, we will extract it into a folder. And now uh, what we will do is we will take the contents of this particular Maven directory and we will place it uh, somewhere uh, which is in C drive. Okay, so it's always recommended to have your Maven uh, installation or the contents in your C drive from where you can uh, have that uh, path variable. So let's go ahead and let's create a folder here. Let's call this Maven. And then inside this, uh, we are going to paste all the content, right? So this is the home directory for Maven. And now uh, what we need to do is we need to add some system variables. So go to the system properties from there, go to environment variables. And here first we need to create a system variable and we are going to call this Maven underscore home. Uh, we can browse the directory. So let's browse the directory. So we'll go to C drive and then Maven. So that's our home directory. And then uh, we also need to add this into our path. Okay, so we are going to edit the path here and we are going to add uh, the Maven here. You can see uh, my previous Maven is right here, but I'm going to delete this. Now here uh, we can add a path. So what we will do, is we'll use the maven underscore home variable which we have created. And after this, uh, we will put a slash and then it should go into the bin directory, okay? So uh, that's uh, how you can add or edit your path uh, system variable. And also you can add another variable for maven underscore home. Once you do that, your maven is set up now. And uh, how you can check that is by going to CMD and then uh, type here MVN. And then uh, you can type version. And that should give you uh, the Maven version which you have set up, okay? Along with that, it will also give you the Java version. Um, now we have already configured Java. This is mandatory for using Maven. So first you should configure Java properly and then 
you should not have any problem configuring Maven. Now moving on to a next step is to have the Maven dependencies for both the APM Java client as well as test ng. So let's see how we can add them. Now there is a page, a GitHub page, uh, which talks about the APM Java client. Similarly, you will find the client for all the different languages under the GitHub page. So here uh, it will tell you which versions um, are being supported. Uh, how do you add a APM Java client to your test framework? So this is the Maven dependency. Here we just need to replace uh, this with the correct version. Now, instead of this, we can also search for uh, the APM Java client uh, dependency. So let's type Maven and then APM Java client. And uh, it should give you the Java client. This is the latest version. I can check here. So you can see uh, it has already been migrated to version nine. Uh, do make sure that you have got Java 11 and above in your system, then only it will work. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use the latest version here, 9.2.2. So I'm going to copy this dependency here. And then first uh, we need to create a project in IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, so here we are going to click on new project. And then uh, we will enter a uh, project name here so let's call this apm test and uh, then uh, you can see here language is java already selected a uh, build system we will select maven in case you are using gradle you can also choose gradle here um, and then the jdk okay so here depending on which jdk is present in your system you can add that now uh, i'm going to add the latest jdk which i have already installed on my system so I will go to my Java directory. Uh, you can see here, there are two Java versions. I will choose the JDK 21 here. And then there are advanced settings, but we don't need to change them. Then let's go ahead and create. So this is going to uh, open a Maven project, okay? And uh, it will load the default directories, the default files like pom.xml and some other um, directories or files which are related to IntelliJ IDEA. Now, once uh, IntelliJ completes uh, building this project, then uh, we can go into the pom.xml file. Here, uh, we can open the pom.xml file and here we need to add the dependencies, okay? Now, here, uh, how you can add the dependencies is first uh, you need to have the dependencies uh, node. Inside this, uh, we will copy and paste the dependency which uh, we copied earlier for Java client. Okay, now uh, you can see these are marked in red, which means uh, these dependencies are not yet resolved. So to resolve this, what you can do is right click on pom.xml and then uh, you can go to the Maven option and go to reload project. Now what it will do, it will resolve all the dependencies which are still not resolved, which means it will download from the remote repository to your local repository okay so i will let all these dependencies to resolve uh, and we will move on to the next bit which is uh, we need to now uh, also have the maven dependency for test ng which will be our testing framework uh, for this particular apm project so here is the test ng again uh, we will pick up the latest version here i'm going to copy this dependency here and then move back to our project here after this dependency i'm going to paste this i'm going to remove the scope here and then uh, we will again update this project just to make sure that this particular dependency is resolved so we'll go to maven and then reload the project Okay, um, in order to make sure that your dependencies are resolved, you can also look at uh, the Maven on the right hand side. And here you will see on the dependencies that we have got the APM Java client and the test ng. So these are the dependencies uh, which are required in order to build your APM project. Now the next step after this is to basically uh, write your code or your test uh, for your APM automation and then execute it right from here. Right. So this is how you can build uh, all the prerequisites, which includes setting up Maven 
and um, also setting up your ID and then um, you define all the dependencies so that you can use the client for um, building your APM automation. It could be any programming language uh, for this. We are using Java and then you can pick up any particular test framework uh, for us. We will be using the test ng. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.